Hello my soccer universe to one final collection video as sort of a season preview although for Serie A I will have the time to do a proper season preview and jump over ahead all the Champions League and so on playoff stuff I will get to that when it really uh, <laughs> gets to the last round there um, I am gonna do it as I did it for the other uh, leagues I'm gonna show you from each team in Serie A one shirt or for each Italian team that I have because there are two non-Serie A teams in there I want to show you a shirt this is gonna be by far the longest video because I have 16 Italian teams now all of them were in Serie A this would make me super happy but uh, 14 of these are this season in Serie A one of which was actually quite a big surprise that they actually are in Serie A but it makes me very 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 Happy. So, uh, if you recall from my um, English club teams VA video, I had 14 English teams, which is the second most of any country that I have, and all of them were in the Premier League. Now I have 14 Serie A teams and two teams that are currently not in Serie A. Uh, I decided now to not do it uh, how uh, I think I think I did it by previous season's rankings. I did it alphabetically and so on. Uh, I actually said I'm gonna do it chronologically. This time I'm gonna start with the most recently released jersey of the ones that I picked to show uh, and then end with the oldest jersey which is probably the second or third oldest um that's the third oldest in my collection as far as i know it might be the second oldest depending on how you see it but i you know talk about it when i get there i think i shouldn't lose a lot more time so let's get right to it with the most newly released usually i have it half half have have them on the chair right next to me now i have to turn around because it's so heavy they won't hold up the most newly that I have is of course the Napoli. We'll start out with the banger. The Napoli was officially the fourth shirt uh, in memoriam Diego Maradona. Uh, it was actually not released because Diego Maradona died. They actually wanted to do that. And then uh, on the week they kind of wanted to wear it, Maradona died to make this even more of a tribute shirt. Um, uh, I knew that I needed to get it. Uh, I got it directly from the Naples Naab, store. Uh, I had at that moment, and you know, this is again teaching me the lesson. You gotta be patient because I got it without printing. I want to actually get it with Insigne, not with Mar Maradona, because I only want to get on a shirt. Uh, I want to get a current uh, a current player. I do not get this with the uh, putting former players on there. Um, but I still love it a whole, whole, whole lot. It has the Cocada for winning the Italian, Italian Cup. A very, uh, it's very nice that it also has the sponsors. They, they have a little holes in, in there. Of course, it's the full combat kit, so it is very tight-fitting. Beautiful jersey, I gotta say. Uh, another beautiful jersey is the, this one. It's my 200th one. It is last season Serie B uh, Venezia jersey. This is the player version. I got it directly from the store with Feli Jolie because he has a Milan past uh, to it. As, again, I was surprised that it is. It really is the player player version uh, because it costs only 10 more uh, than the um, um, replica version. Uh, they were selling these off and now you cannot find them anymore because they switched suppliers. So I find this also very in in interesting. It's an iconic jer uh, jersey. I really like. I like a little bit all the three colors in, in there as hoops. It's really, really, really classy. So I absolutely love this jersey. Uh, two bits and Venezia are in Serie A. So that's the one jersey that I did not expect. So this was on um, 2021 season. Now we go to the 1920 season and we get to this beautiful Hellas Verona uh, way jersey, which gave us kind of, uh, no, this was a third, jer third jer jersey, the way was yellow. I, when I saw this one and uh, in my jer uh, jersey review for this season, I said, this is an awesome jersey. I absolutely love that you could put the club colors on a white jer uh, jersey, which 
usually if you do that right and put the club colors somehow in an intelligent way that is not cra crazy you're bound to get a great looking jersey i also like that they took um kind of the v from the then old crest and made this kind of alternate crest which turns out to be is not a new verona crest uh the old one is in here i do have a slight preference for the old one but i understand this is a much easier crest and it's not an abomination because it still keeps the v for verona you have the two mastiffs and then you have the leathers in there as well so pretty pretty nice stuff moving on also 1920 another macron uh beauty is this um Bologna jersey. Uh, I got it at the same time as the um, uh, Verona jersey, uh, jersey the same season. I absolutely love how nicely the sponsor fits on there. This is this is a sponsor that actually enhances the jersey. Uh, jersey. I love the classic Bologna look with the uh, wide stripes. I, I, I always say uh, Bologna and it's not true but uh, I always find it's the best child between a Milan jer jersey and a Barca jersey. Uh, also from from the crest and I have to repeat it uh, this crest here is holographic it is just awesome very well done and of course Macron being based in Bologna so this is the true Bologna team uh, I am I want to wear this way more often than I do I'm always wary about especially the sponsor on the back for some reason but you know it will I hope I will wear it a few more times now. Marco Natovic, Austrian player, is there. So I hope to be wearing a Bologna jersey for quite a while. Still the 1920 uh, season. Atalanta is my only Atalanta jer uh, jer jersey. This beautiful away jersey. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, again, similar to the Toto Verona, you take white and you put the club's colors in an intelligent way. I also like that the goddess uh, here is on itself running Atalanta and it's of course repeated and Homer does this and I absolutely love this uh, on the inside here. It also has the outline of the city uh, kind of marked here, which is another nice feature. Um, on, the, on the back. I mean, it's full with sponsors that make it a little bit more ugly than it uh, probably should, should, should be, but the only one is really this red lion that doesn't really re fit. If it was only the Ra Raji group, I think this actually would be very, very nice. And then even sleeve sponsors. Uh, beautiful shirt, absolutely beautiful shirt. Uh, very happy to have this one. Unfortunately, it is a little bit smaller. Me, it's an L for Homa. I usually size up so this is actually two sizes down so it is tight which is the same thing true here for this area beauty for parma is the 1819 uh away shirt for me this is parma uh i get the look with the cross but i grew up with parma having similar jerseys like i like the verona jersey then they got with this look now this is their away look. Uh, the moment I saw this shirt, I loved it. Again, it is an L and it fits very, very tight. So uh, this is also one of those shirts that I'm not going to wear a whole lot. Of. Unfortunately, it has even a name set back there on Bruno Alves, uh, which is the only way I could get it. I would have loved to get a Javinho. Uh, I do regret that I was hesitating uh, ori or originally. I knew when this shirt came, came out that I wanted to have this shirt because I absolutely love the, the yellow sleeves and then the way they did it, even with the dot pattern on the way, which is an area thing. I hesitated too much and then I think it was, yeah, uh, when the corona crisis was kind of about to come, they said I need to get it, but then this shirt was already uh, two seasons, you know, it was, there was already a season in between. Uh, no, it was the, pre the, the previous season and you barely could get it and I could get it only as an L kind of made it a little bit it's a little bit too tight as i said not too happy about that moving on i bought this shirt on vacation in florence of course the fiorentina 1718 this was when they released five jerseys with kind of uh playing on the city um tra 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 traditional quarters which are uh sublimated here on the side the four uh it's my only Lecoq Sportif jer uh, jer jersey, which is 
a little bit sad. I have to say, Le Coq Sportif had this thingy here on the back, this taping that Nike then took for the 1819 race. So that might be that is the original. I have to point this out. What I like about this shirt is um, that it actually has these red and white accents. It, it makes it really look nice. The sparkly crest here. Uh, total love. The only thing I do not get is why do we have the purple, white, red pattern here uh, twice and then only once here. That is to me the, a little bit weird. Also, I would have loved to go have this go around, but other, other than that, it's a beautiful jer uh, jersey. Fair, fair thing that jersey is always a uh, joy to behold. Okay, another one. I think this is also 17, 18 or 16, 17. Uh, it's this beautiful colliery shirt that I got on a sale from Classic Football Shirts. This was among my two first uh, Macron jerseys. Uh, I love that ha I have a sponsor list because it makes it look even better. Strong colors, it's the classic half and half look. It's uh, blank here on the back as well. And uh, the crest, uh, kind of uh, the silicone crest. I, It's a strong looking jersey, I gotta say. Um, then we have Lazio and I think this is either also 16, 17 or is it 15, 16. I got those seasons mixed up. Uh, this is, of course, also Macron, and this Macron shirt here, the color, the, the, the color is actually, surprisingly, not very stretchy. This Lazio shirt here is super stretchy. This is when I learned that, yeah, for Macron, you gotta size up because you get super stretchy jer uh, jerseys. Yes, I would like to have the 1819. Uh, Lazio you home that 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 is the ultimate but as for classic lot let's look at the sky blue this one is as cool as it gets i like that it has a little italian flag detail i actually like the color despite it this uh triangle being a little bit clunky I, I, I actually like it i also like the sublimated second crest but i don't quite get why it is like that maybe because uh this throws the shadow over or, or, or whatever but it's a nice detail on there, uh, it is plain on the back, but uh, got it the same same as the Calgary shirt. Beautiful shirt, I have to say. Lots of shirts. Uh, I mean, the color, the color scheme is always something really nice. When you say Lazio, you not need to get Roma, and I'm showing you probably the blandest Roma jer uh, jersey, but this season uh, equally bland jersey, but I totally love it. It's my first red, it's my second ever Roma jersey, my first red Ro Roma jersey, it's from the 14-15 season when they, this was the first Nike shirt. To me, this is the classic. This is a very classic and classy Roma look. Unfortunately, uh, this will always be associated with the mauling by Bayern. At home in the season, that was not all that great. However, I totally love the fold over color. This is, I love colors like, like this. It even has a little bit orange uh, on the show. A kumquat was the name. Uh, even the sleeve cuffs, I think I like. And you might not see it from the this, this thing, but if you go, there's, there are some sublimated pinstripes in there, which give this also a very special look. This is one of those shirts that you don't necessarily would say is a soccer jersey. But it is. So yeah, it was sponsorless, so uh, I really like that feature. Going way, now, now we skip a few seasons. Um, recently acquired, but kind of old I think it's the 08, 09, or 09, 010. Udine home, I need to have Udine. I've been to the city, it's actually a really nice city. Uh, underrated, I would say. Um, and you know it's also a black and white team and it is a slightly different pattern slightly different it's a uh, lotto of course and then uh hmm? doesn't seem to make any sense but i absolutely lo love it and, and and they go with the theme around the entire shirt uh you see it especially on the back there's another hook here on the tail, uh, kind of interesting. It's really in, in interesting. It makes it absolutely, in, uh, it makes it nice to look at. It, uh, the one thing that we could discuss is why does Lotto have to have red branding here when uh, the accent color is, of course, in gold, I think. But they, at that time, people were not thinking all that much about it. So yeah, uh, you just slapped on the logo. It's still 
uh, one of those uh, jerseys that just look di different where a collector would say, yeah, let's not go with a standard look. Of course, I would like to get, I think it was last season's Udine shirt with um, the big white sash going through, uh, a black with kind of sash. That would be nice. Going even further, 0203, and this jersey, I said it in a comment on Club Football Shirts the other day, is an absolute fluke that I have it. Chievo Verona. I made a video about it where I said, yeah, this was the time when I figured you can order shirts from club stores. They had it dirt cheap, the full kit on sale in double XL. I said, yeah, let, 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 let it take it. Uh, I can, I'm, I'm swimming in this one. Uh, this was the time when jerseys were not uh, super tight. Um, Kiev at the moment plays in, uh, is was not demoted to Serie D after uh, another financial mess. Everyone loved them uh, when they came up, except when you were from Verona. Um, and then, yeah, uh, when they got relegated in '89, I, I think many people were actually happy because there was so many uh, wrongdoings on the financial side and so on. So yeah. Uh, I still feel a little, a little bit sad because I was hoping to, at some point to wear this one. Um, you know, have it on, on, on the background. The only thing that's applied on there is the crest and the Homa logo. And that's the old Homa logo. It was the first Homa shirt. This is all printed on. I, of course, there is the uh, knight on the horse and on the tail also. Kiva Verona, knight on a horse. Interesting shirt, for sure. As I said, uh, it's... To me, it's a total fluke that I have this one. Now, we're gonna have now a few very, very classic shirts. This one is 99, 2000, and I saw the team playing in this one. It's also a double XL, but it actually fits me a little bit better. I'm not wearing it a lot, it's Inter. It's the uh, Inter home jersey from the season. I saw them wearing this in Rome, playing AS Roma. Nil, nil, the previous meeting between those two was the 5-4 five, four, five, yeah, four, classic, so yeah. Uh, I got this for 3 euros. And you say, why? Yeah, mm -hmm. because it has Ronaldo on the back, but the printing is severely damaged. And yes, I know, get a new number, get it, get it over. I'm thinking about it, but uh, at the moment, uh, I'm not quite there yet. As I said, I'm not wearing it all that often, and so it is uh, really, really nice shirt to hang back there uh, for Inter and yeah I also like this crest because it doesn't it has the star kind of hidden away and this was this very 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 times when Inter was a uh, laughing stock and if it wasn't for Calciopoli where Inter was involved Inter would still be a laughing stock I have to say so just needed to get that out of my system uh, when I say Inter, like with Lazio uh, and Roma, I have to say Milan. Now, I'm wearing, of course, Milan. I am a Milan fan. I have the most jerseys from Milan. Uh, no, after in mean, minimal last go took Milan um, by one shirt. But that's that's always going to be a tight battle. I thought that this season since they have this kind of sand-colored um, away jer uh, jersey, it's time to uh, give this... Centenary jersey that I also recently got uh, used um, a little bit more love and have it sometime hanging on the background, especially when Milan were playing in their away look. Uh, golden, it's my only golden shirt uh, with the centenary crest for Milan, uh, which looks at first a little, a little bit weird until you uh, watch it up close and actually quite clever. You have old fashioned ball, you have a hundred, then you have uh, the club's name, you have the logo, and then, uh, of course, uh, 1899 and 1999. Um, it is... When I, I was in 99 in Milan, and that was the only shirt that they had available, and I was not so fond because I wanted to get the Centenary shirt. I have to say, it still ranks high for me in terms of Milan jerseys, because it is uh, one of those that... Uh, is kind of unique. I especially like the um, uh, 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 Adidas stripe with the red outline there. Uh, but you know, it is definitely a collection uh, jersey and being the only gold one, I regularly wear it at Christmas because it fits the season. We have two left and those two are really old ones. I Actually, I have all the Milan shirts than this, this one, but I want to highlight the Centenary shirt. This is now from the 
95, 96, I think. I have, I would have to check, 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 but I think it's 9, 95, 96, an absolute beauty. I got it for 15 euros used. So, and it has some uh, signs of wear and tear. This is some Doria home. Uh, with, and I'm so happy that I got Salsa Sampdoria some with the classic ERG sponsor. For me, this is uh, iconic. Uh, Sampdoria is iconic in many, in many ways. Having this, uh, yeah, it's not odd in a chest band, it's a belly band in many ways uh, on, on there. It just looks awesome. I love that I have the old slow cocarda where the green is on the outside. Um, and not, not the bene. I mean, here it doesn't matter so, so, so much, but traditionally the crest was worn on the sleeves for an, uh, some Doria. So always have that, that, and my now to pull it here. I totally love the drawstrings. I love, you have the some Doria pattern in here as well, and you have it uh, on the floppy collar. Um, it's my only ASIC shirt, and if you haven't, the sublimated pattern with the gold net and the gold and the club's crests in there uh, is just a sight to behold. Uh, you can see it's an old shirt, there's a little bit wear and tear uh, here, but it's not much. It's actually, uh, for that age, a beautifully uh, maintained jersey and I keep it in honor. And I keep wearing this here, 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 there. This is a very well-made shirt. Which leads us to the oldest shirt in this video, not the oldest shirt in my collection. As I said, it is... Uh, now I think it could even be number four. Um, the oldest club shirt, oh, and probably the oldest shirt is my Benfica shirt. Uh, the Italy uh, shirt, I think it was 1990, but uh, they were wearing this style even 88. So that's a contender. Then I have a Milan 1991 shirt, um, a replica, and then we have this Juventus shirt here, which in this configuration was only worn in 91, 92, but I'm not sure. It's the same style was worn in 1991, but it had the Cocarda for the cup win there. So that, that's why I say it's 91, 99, 92. They had it also in 89, 90, but then the cup logo was black. So you have to watch uh, out for those little details. Um, for me, Juve, is, Juve needs to have an UPIM sponsor. Uh, this is for me, the when I started uh, watching and I saw Juve with UPIM, that's it. That's it. I mean, yes, the, the, for many, the Danone sponsor spons is more iconic, but I have to say the way that the sponsor fits in between the stripes is just gorgeous here. There, there is nothing coming out here, and they did something similar with the Jeep uh, on a few jerseys. Uh, it still has the two stars, which was the only thing that you was wearing. The Juve logo is sublimated in there, but it's a little bit hard to show to you. Uh, there is one right here, the Kappa logo, and then there's one here. It's always at the transition. Um, it's a very interesting uh, sublimated style uh, on there. I know Milan had a very similar style for the Glo Glorious. It has number 10, not in the original style, unfortunately, but this was typical nine style for me. Uh, this is Baggio. This is Roberto Baggio in his almost prime. I mean, he would say that his purest form was at Fiorentina, Juve was after, but he was uh, probably my favorite player from Italy at that point. And so, yeah, when I saw this one, it cost me 40, uh, which is still good. I mean, yes, it has wear and tear, but this with number 10, there's no way I'm wrong. This, this is a Juve shirt that I've been looking for for a long time. So far, it's my only Juve shirt. I would love to have uh, at least one or two more in a way in a, a more modern home, because this is a museum piece for me that should actually stay there. So yeah, there you have it. From all 16 teams, one shirt, you say, you see, I'm in love with most of them, Italy. I mean, I have a big infatuation with Italy. Uh, by the way, the background here is from the 2020-2021 season, the most common the most frequent nations in the squads, which I also find quite kind of interesting. The nations are in there, and there is a shirt in there that I have not shown you the reveal. So 
watch out for it. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know which Italian teams you have. Uh, should have chosen some other. If you know a little bit, my eye collection should have chosen other shirts. I would be interesting to know. I think for me, Serie A is one of those leagues that is highly, 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 or uh, generally Italian club teams are highly, highly collectible because there's a whole lot of variety, many colors, and usually uh, there is also a big industry with manufacturers. So I always, I think for me, uh, Italian club teams are probably the most collectible ones. And I would then say France and then the Premier League. That's at least my personal feeling and uh, those you might have a different opinion. In any case, drop a line below and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.